What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with more of the Tragically Hip. And we're back with a tune I've been sort of waiting to do, hoping that I would get in touch with David again, one of the people who was involved in the very early days of the Hip uh, reaction series, and ultimately a friend of mine I met through techno. He's a techno DJ. But I haven't been able to get in touch with him for a while. A couple other techno people that know him through Facebook have said the same thing. So I hope he's just been busy, or maybe he's just, you know, taking a break from... Uh, social media. Either way, it's getting to the point where there aren't so many tracks left on the Your Favorites compilation. Big shout out to, once again to Yvonne. Uh, but yeah, so we're here to go through it. And, you know, again, um, hoping that eventually he may comment here and perhaps give more of the story. I'll just say that he mentioned to me he has a personal connection to the song because someone in his nuclear family uh, was killed when he was younger and apparently there's something about this song that um, has a connection to that type of experience. So either way, he didn't want to spoil too much because he was saying, you know, you'll hear it eventually and, you know, I'll talk about it then. Again, that was many months ago now, maybe like four or five months ago, six months ago. So um, as I said, uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to get it in touch with him for a while. But uh, this one is for you, David. And once again, shout out to Yvonne for sharing it. Let's hear it. This is The Tragically Hip. The track is 38 years old. And it's included here as part of the 2005 compilation, Your Favorites. Chairman Rock News, 73. From Millhead Maximum's journey Drop pictures lined up across the front page Seems a man has had a summertime a long way But a cheap jump people lay nothing to fear so The last thing they want to do is hang around here But most of came from town with long friends' name We're sitting on the table, heard the telephone ring. Father said he'd tell him if he saw anything. At the top of the window in the middle of the night, held back the curtains for my older brother Mike. See, my sister got raped, so a man got killed. Let's go, my son, we're taking you home. Same pattern on the table, same clock on the wall. Been one seat empty 18 years and all. Freezing slow time away from the world. He's 38 years old, never kissed a girl. He's 38 years old, never kissed a girl. 
across my channel where I do this. Um, I'm going to look at the lyrics in a moment, but just to articulate what I caught on the first listen, uh, which again is more traditionally how I've, you know, I listen to a song, I catch a little bit of it, I listen to it again, I catch a little more, and after a few listens it's like, okay, I hear the lines, you know, increasingly clearly. Uh, but what I caught is, it sounds like there's a guy who has never been able to engage with women and I don't know if he's the assailant. It seems likely, given that we're talking about a woman being sexually assaulted, um, so it seems like he would be the culprit. But I didn't hear like a line clearly, you know, making that assertion. So again, I'll check in a moment. Um, but yeah, it sounds like you know a family or you know people. Um, close to this woman were alerted, you know, over the telephone, and you know, hearing the horror of what had happened. Um, so yeah, uh, ultimately, it seems like there's a very dark and violent act at the center of the narrative, but, um, you know, the, the rest of it I heard like pieces or like details, but I wasn't sure how they came together. So again, I'll check the lyrics in a moment. Um, but sonically, as I said, I love that blend of the acoustic guitar with the electric guitar, and the electric lead was doing some really epic things. Um, and again, Gord's voice, you know, very passionate, you know, not the biggest I've heard him go. Um, locked in the trunk of the car, um, or what was it, locked in the trunk? Or no, it's locked in the trunk of a car, isn't it? Um, yeah, that one at the end, I, I was um, very impressed by the, the power and the um, audacity. Uh, and here it wasn't quite that big, but still, always like with the intense passion uh, vocally, so loving the sound of his uh, vocals again. So here we go. I'll look it up um, again. I feel like I sort of owe it to David to do this exception. Um, okay, so all right. So twelve men broke loose in '73 from Millhaven Maxim Security. Already an ominous start, and 12 pictures lined up across the front page. Seems the Mounties had a summertime war to wage. So, okay, they're trying to catch a bunch of, perhaps, you know, hardened criminals who broke out from a maximum security facility. Well, the chief told the people they had nothing to fear. Oh, no. Said, the last thing they want to do is hang around here. I heard that line, but I didn't realize, like, the context of it. So the idea was, like, well, they're just going to, you know, run away. They came from towns with long French names. Uh, one of one of the dozen was a hometown shame. Same patterns on the table, same clock on the wall. Been one seat empty 18 years in all. So someone died 18 years previous. Uh, freezing slow time away from the world. He's 38 years old, never kissed a girl. He's 38 years old, never kissed a girl. We were sitting around the table, heard the telephone ring. Father said he'd tell them if he saw anything. Heard the tap on my window in the middle of the night. Held back the curtain for my older brother, Mike. See, my sister got raped, so a man got killed. Local boy went to prison, man buried on, man's buried on the hill. Uh, folks went back to normal when they closed the case. Okay, so this is one of the 12 people who escaped, a guy who had gotten revenge on his sister's rapist. Uh, local boy went to prison, man's buried on the hill. Folks went back to normal when they closed the case. They still stare at their shoes when they pass our place. My mother cried, the horror has finally ceased. He whispered, yeah, for the time being at least. And over her shoulder of, on the squad car megaphone said, Let's go, Michael, son. We're taking you home. Same pattern on the table, same clock on the wall, been one empty seat, 18 years. So the, maybe the guy who 
got revenge for his sister has been in jail for 18 years. Freezing slow time, and so he never got to be an adult. Maybe so he's not the assailant then. Um, he's one, you know. He he was incarcerated before he ever actually lived his life because he had to avenge his sister. Uh, there's a let me just see if this. Okay, 38 years old provides a fictional account of the real life escape of 14 inmates from the Millhaven Institution Maximum Security Prison in the band's hometown of Kingston, Ontario. 38 years old was released in April 1990 as the fourth single from the group's, group's first full length album, Up to Here. The song quickly became one of the hits' most popular, peaked at 41 on the Canadian singles chart, but it was only played live on rare occasions by the group after its release. Interesting. Well, again, as I said, um, and you know, with great solemn um, uh, sympathy and um, understanding, given you know the limited information uh, that um, David had told me, he did mention again that one of his family members had been killed, and that this song had elements that spoke to the experience of that, and so it was a very special song to him. So. Again, David, hope you're still out there. Hope you're just, you know, been busy or again, you've sort of taken a break from social media, which uh, no one would blame anyone for that. But ultimately, um, really hope to hear from you, you know, not just about this song, but in general. Big shout out again to Yvonne and all the folks who've been following the hit reactions, Todd and others. Um, yeah, so ultimately, uh, I do appreciate the patience with my slightly abnormal uh, post-reaction. Um, lyrical experience here, which again, I do prefer, and it used to be like, you know, I, as I said, I'd listen to a tune a half dozen times, and by then it's like, okay, I'm pretty sure I got a sense of what it's about, and if there's any ambiguity at that point, I might have checked, you know, a lyrical, um, you know, like a booklet, or indeed online. Uh, these days, it's fair to say, as the, I go through these different groups, people either, you know, post the lyrics directly in the comments, or they're at least, you know, here's my take on it, here's my interpretation, some, you know, fans think this, uh, so I do, it happens more rapidly these days, is I guess what I'm saying. But as I said, occasionally, sometimes with punk rock reactions where there's like, you know, like six uh, verses and like a really long chorus, and it's like, okay, hold on, I just got to get a, some sense of what I just heard. So, um, but yeah, ultimately, um, I am drawing near. I know there's like Vaccine Scar, and there's like maybe a couple others. I know Yvonne sent me a list. Uh, I'll see if I can pull it up quickly. If not, I'll look it up. Let's see, is it, okay, so 38 years old, vaccination scar, and I did the courage one already, so yeah, vaccination scar, and I'm not sure about disc two in the moment, but I think disc one, there's just one track left, so we'll do that one soon, let me know what you think of this, and I will see you next time, peace.